Do always put in a female of an, an history uh, in the bloodiest periods you'll find uh, that's the way the way of doing they, they love symbolism and they, they love the routine. Yeah, the goddess and, will extract the blood. Yes, and so that's how they would set up. So demonize one, and and probably it will uh, cause us some kind of civil war within the U.S. Uh, as this sparks off. Obama will use all the forces that have been put on the books by the Bush regime. He set up the machinery for it. Obama will use it. He'll be hated. He'll probably eventually step down or go off sick, He'll just leave, leave us sick. And uh, Hillary will probably take over, and, and then, of course, she'll be the, the real vixen that will use ultimate force. Tim, hold on. We're coming back to the full audience. I'll let you have one more comment. Appreciate you calling. Here we go. Okay, let's hurry. Uh, let's hurry here. And, uh, Tim, uh, finish up the comments uh, from Ohio, then Sherry and others. I want to jam in a few more here. Just, just the follow-up to my question was, if, 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 they, if they do not have o Obama or Biden in, what are the chances of uh, Cheney and little uh, old temporary Bush uh, remaining in power after Inauguration Day due to some type of false? Look, I don't look, look, they want a new puppet to get. I mean, they've invested too much in Obama. I believe he's going to go into office and then and then, and then it's going to be really serious. Uh, Alan Watt. No, I concur with that. Yeah. All right. Got to jump, Tim. Appreciate the call. Let's talk to Sherry in Texas. Sherry, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey. Um, hey, Alan, I just wanted to say that uh, you're my sociological guru. I think you're right on the money. I've, uh, I know you've been studying these systems for a long time, and I really think you know what you're talking about. Um, my question for you is, how are the elite able to get such strong people, you know, like in the upper middle class um, in America, to accept the dehumanization and also the iatrogenocide? Um, basically, the doctors are killing people here. Um, it's ambient. You know, it's in, it, it's incremental. They've slowly upgraded it until until we're at a fever pitch. Let's get Alan's take on that. Yes, it's incremental. It's intergenerational dehumanization. You have three generations sitting watching television together, and uh, the oldest is embarrassed at, at regular fare for, for viewers and entertainment. Uh, the young ones don't mind. The one in the middle is already accepting it. So it's intergenerational indoctrination and propaganda That's right. and dehumanization. That's right. They train people to love tyranny, to love evil, to feel like they're part of the winning team, to associate themselves with the system. And again, they, they act like sex and violence and destruction is cool and, you know, the nerds just don't understand. Really, they're searing the conscience so you'll accept your neighbors being drug off or yourself being drug off. And so when you're being drug off, your neighbors will accept it. Sherry? That that's exactly right, and also uh, as far as the cancer uh, rate here, it's just skyrocketing. Yeah. And they actually have a big a big room with all these comfy chairs that where all the ladies who have cancer they sit and they get to socialize while they get their team up. And they make it and a they, social and, fun thing. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. your call. We're out of time, Sherry, and I apologize to Tom, Elliot, Grace, and others. Next time Alan's on, you can call in. You'll go to the head of the line. Uh, Alan Watt, I really want to appreciate you coming on the show. Cut to the Matrix dot com. Give folks your European mirror site. Yes, Alan Watt, Sentient, Sentinel dot EU, and you can transcript, you can download and print up in no. the different different languages. All right, we appreciate all your time, and we appreciate your tireless work for humanity. I want to talk to you again coming up early in the new year as things uh, develop and things unfold. Thank you, Alan Watt. It's been a pleasure, Alex. Always a pleasure having you on, a true gentleman. We got a lot of information out in that show today. We've been live for almost two hours at PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're watching the live streams, we're also going to be posting this for PrisonPlanet.tv members uh, in the highest quality uh, uh, that we have up on uh, PrisonPlanet.tv. And we're about to upgrade. You know, the, the films I post are in super high, almost high def. These, so they can be streamed out, are in, are in lower quality. But we're about to start encoding and recording another copy that's in even higher quality to post for PrisonPlanet.tv members in the next few weeks. We are working to make it all as good as we can for you. Before I end this broadcast, I do want to tell you that the rebroadcast is coming up with Congressman Ron Paul at the very start. It'll be re-airing on AM and FM stations across the country uh, whenever they rebroadcast us and on WWCR from 9 to 1 a.m. Uh, this evening. But right now on the streams, he was on at the 5 after at Infowars.com on the restreams. And you can download, of course, the free podcast there as well. Get prepared. Get self-sufficient. And one big way to do that is eFoodsDirect.com. The letter E 
foodsdirect.com. Big Banner's up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. This is the highest quality storable foods company for the best price I've found. Non-GMO, healthy, grown right here in America. Food stores for more than 10 years in climate control. 10 years in non-climate control. 800-409-5633. 800-409-5633 or efoodsdirect.com. We had Mike Rivero on. We had Alan Watt on and Ron Paul right now when we come back on the Internet streams at InfoWars.com. But be sure and check out eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633. Great job to the crew, the affiliates, the sponsors, John Harmon, everybody. God bless you all. PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy.